Okay, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be paving inside this area here. Now, the most important part of paving or any landscape job that you're going to do around your house is water. You've got to get that water going where you want that water to go. Um, for instance, if you, if you have a, say this is the side of your house and this is a retaining wall, you don't want the water coming back this way. It will just form a pool and it's, that's just not what you want. Uh, so what we want, if we've got an internal wall, say we've got four walls to work on here, we want this water to fall out here, so then it runs out into the yard. You did have a finish height. Right. Say you wanted the, your pavers to finish level with this course here. If you had, for instance, a 40 millimeter thick paver, you'd have to come down your 40 mil for your paver, then 25 to 40 millimeters for your bedding sand, and then 100 mil of compacted road base. So if this was the finish height you wanted, you'd have to excavate down, say, 170 to 180 millimeters from that point. Now we've excavated down, we've bought in our road base, but now we're at the point where we want to get this road base to fall that way. Okay, so what we're doing here, we're getting our fall away from the house. Now there's no set requirement on the amount of fall you should have, but I like to work on about well, 15 or 20 millimetres per metre. Or Okay, so we've got our fall coming from this point down to that point. So now across the work, across this way, we want to get this level. So now that we're over this side, we've projected our level across the wall that way. We will then get our, our fall out this way again. So at this point, there is, a, there is a bit of work in this process. It's, it's pretty critical you get it right, so persevere. So we've got our two, our two lines on outside with the water that's going to fall away. So we then get our screed. Well, the road base is made up of a of a gravel which is about, I don't know, 10 to 20 mil aggregate and, and other fines that are, that'll make that road base compact hard. Now adding the water, it just makes it compact that bit harder. Um, well, I think it's true if you don't apply the water and just use a plate compactor, it'll be very difficult to get a firm surface. Is that it, right? it would be difficult to get a firm surface. What would, or what does happen is your plate compactor will just blow that road base apart. Um, but this, with the fines and the and the aggregate, it, it the, when you add the water, the the, uh, the road base bonds to a certain degree. Okay, we'll compact this. We'll run this compactor over here two or three times just to make sure this road base is compacted down nice and hard. <laughs> 